No PowerPoint here. <laughs> Good. There is a PowerPoint. <laughs> Point of power. It's in the present. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hello. My goodness. It's Kamala. only been a week, but it feels like forever. Hi, Larry. <laughs> Kamala, hi. Dearest. Hi, Emil. Hi there. Hi, so Shana. good to see you, Kamala. Larry, I, only, Larry. I only have a minute, but I just needed to kind of come in and say hi. Ah, uh, so sweet. Thank you. We're Thank you. So good you. to see you. Hi, so Leanne. good to see you, Kamala. Hmm? Kamala, I need to chat with you this week. I'll text you later. <laughs> We're very yeah. excited to see you all here. Oh, somebody's phone is ringing. <laughs> For the first encore session of our Reclaim Yourself retreat. Yeah. And um, Amir asked me today if if we could only have one encore, was this the right title? And you know, we talked about it as a team that we can have many encores, but we're really excited about this first one um, because Anil Chandwani, a dear friend of ours, was actually supposed to be part of the original lineup and had um, was unable to, to participate due to some medical stuff. So when this opportunity came up, we of course went right for you, Anil, and we're so glad you were willing and available to step up and share with our community. Such a delight. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. Yes. <laughs> scheduling me twice. And with my luck, I was not able to do either. So I'm so delighted uh, to have another invitation and be part of this today. Thank you so, so much. So before we, before we start, we typically want to wait a couple of minutes before we dive into things, but would love to have everybody kind of drop in. Um, how are you feeling today? How, is, how has this last week been for you? Are you taking any of the practices you learned and, and maybe integrating them into your life? And is the closing ceremony still vibrating in you? It is for me. Yeah. Yeah, really powerful. <clears throat> I don't see anybody in the chat. You guys are, are writing long, lengthy messages, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Well, we really missed you all. Larry's feeling grateful, or Eric's feeling grateful. Larry's is doing well, been using them and truing, trying to find time to watch the replays. Yeah, all good. Great week, Leanne. Yes, I'm watching tape sessions each morning. Makes that's a huge awesome. difference. I love that. I really do. Yeah, that's so. really awesome. So? So, shall I introduce our guest? Yeah. All right. Anil Chandwani, first off, a dear friend and supporter from the beginning. He is an expert in deprogramming limitations using the reset code process that he created. He has over 25 years of experience as a meditation mentor, public speaker, and social entrepreneur. And he has facilitated several hundred workshops in over 25 countries and worked with thousands of individuals on an individual basis and starred in the documentary, The Evolution of Success, alongside Jack Canfield, Joe Vitale, and Bob Doyle, who were featured in The Secret. We could not be more lucky and grateful to have Neil Chandwani with us tonight. Oh, Shannon, so thank you. So kind of you and Amir to uh, invite me. And uh, this platform has been so dear to me. I'm really honored to be part of uh, this program. and. Uh, Komala for inviting me, Amir and Shannon. And uh, again, my apologies for uh, having missed my original sessions, but I love that Amir picked up that. And uh, I quite enjoyed that soul leadership uh, session that you did, Amir. So thank you. <laughs> um, so I came uh, to this country um, many, many years ago with uh, $280, created multiple companies, um, five from ground up and had a very successful exit for every single company. Um, and now for many years, I traveled around the world just sharing the gift that life gave me back um, to the world to um, what gifts I received, I'm sharing back with the world. And it's a, a joy and honor. The biggest gift that came in my life uh, was the gift of meditation. And when I 
started experimenting with meditation, of course, if you have played with meditation, the first thing you encounter is the mind <laughs> and mind uh, that functions very efficiently until you start to meditate, <laughs> it becomes the most prominent thing visible to us. And to understand mind, um, I don't know why, it, I was very deeply attracted to the science of hypnosis as to understand the mind when I especially realized and heard that 90% of our mind is unconscious, it's not visible to us. So to understand the science of the mind, I studied clinical hypnosis um, and mind um, has fascinated me as much as meditation has. Uh, and now this is my work. This is my passion to bring the two together. My invite into the world of uh, corporate world and travel was linking meditation with money, linking meditation with the marketplace. There was this big now meditation is the darling of the world, but back then meditation was more like um, a subject, like you, you have to sell your Ferrari, a monk who sold his Ferrari, or the monk who had to really shave the head, not, because, not like Amir, that's a style. <laughs> but the monks had to do so many things. And 25 years ago, everyone was fascinated wanting to really understand how I'm doing it, running multiple companies and still spending several hours a day uh, and several months in a year at meditation retreats. And that was my starting point. So what I'm sharing today in this short session is what I have learned from my own studies and now I'm bringing back to the world and through a lot of individual sessions that I've done through hypnosis is the power of the mind. So. One of the most fascinating things that I understood, uh, mind and its mechanics, it's the most amazing you know, power of the mind, the way it can trick itself. The way mind can trick itself is its biggest capacity. The mind can change uh, what it can do in any situation based upon the suggestion it receives. So this little line that we have that a journey of million miles begins with the first step. I would like to change that. If you would experiment with replacing a journey of million miles begins with the thought. Now mind receives information through our senses. So all our sensory input sense the signal in we receive the information Mind assimilates it and responds to every situation. So mind is accumulation of everything that we have processed every single day from our birthing process until now. The birthing process has a deep impact. The whole science of the primal therapy is based on that. So mind receives the information based upon its recording, based upon its belief system, it assimilates and responds back. Now, each individual has, its, has their own story based upon their recording, they respond to the situation. Same situation, same movie, two individuals, two even twins could have a different response to the same situation. So this was very fascinating for me, how mind processes the information, the layers of the mind, and hypnosis is such a powerful tool. The most powerful tool, of course, is meditation. Nothing comes close to meditation. But hypnosis then comes as the next layer, closest to meditation, how we can change these subconscious layers of the mind. And if we start looking at these layers, so the mind in any situation, how I speak to myself. So on an average day, we process between 60 to 80,000 thoughts. Now put that in perspective. On a good day when the air is clean, on a good day when the air is clean, we are breathing on an average 20 to 22,000 times. On a good day. So if we breathe 20 to 22,000 times, the mind processes 60 to 80,000 thoughts. And 90% of these thoughts 
one of the biggest gifts neuroscience has given to us is the functioning of the mind. Mind has now become so visible. And that's how meditation is becoming more and more popular because it's no longer a voodoo mystery. It has become a neuroscience, the neuroplasticity of the brain. So the brain has become a very visible science. So when we are processing 60 to 80,000 thoughts and 90% of these thoughts are repeat thoughts, then nothing new happening. So these thoughts, the way we speak to ourselves, thoughts are to the mind, what feelings are to the body. So before any action happens, a thought is generated, this mind, which is a mechanism, which is an expectation machine, it whole function is to respond and send the chemicals back to the body to create the action. This emotion creates a feeling based on that the body creates the response and the feeling happens. So if we understand this one simple science of how we communicate with our own mind, how we communicate with ourselves can change the game, totally change the game. So my daughter gave me a gift for my birthday for skydiving. Now this little twin engine plane is going up for all 13,000 feet. Every cell in my body is screaming. Every cell in my body is going, you're out of your mind. You are absolutely crazy. You, can, you don't have to be the macho guy. You don't have to do this because they make you sign 37 pages, which basically is that not only could you die, but your seven generations would not be able to sue us and everything possible that's going to go wrong will can go wrong. Now I'm going up, my feet are dangling down. You could land in San Diego or Mexico. You're on the border somewhere south in Southern California. I had an opportunity to practice what I'm about to share with you. So at that moment, at that moment, the first thought, the mind responds to what I'm going to say to it. The key here is the first message that the mind needs to receive is this moment matters. The first step, this moment matters. When we empower ourselves with this thought that this moment is important, this moment matters. The second step in the process is to acknowledge the fear, acknowledge whatever is present, the demon that's present there. You cannot avoid that. That has to be acknowledged. So. I had this science that I knew of scanning my body, taking a deep breath, seeing where in the body I'm feeling this fear. So thought is in the mind, feeling is in the body. So you take a deep breath and scan your body. You scan the body and locate where exactly is this fear residing, whatever this feeling is. Acknowledging that really does an amazing thing. In that space where it sits, that space cannot be ignored. Without addressing it, without dealing with it, you are basically pushing through um, and not really processing that. Once we process it, you clear it forever. You can clear it for life. So you scan the body with your breath, acknowledge where the fear sits in the body, and then you make the choice a part of me is freaking out, a part of me. So it's literally like this, I am freaking out, I'm afraid. And then you simply acknowledge this part of you, wherever it sits in your body, a part of me is freaking out. A part of me is afraid, a part of me doesn't want to do that. A part of me doesn't want to go on stage and perform. A part of me doesn't want to stand in board of directors and speak. So acknowledging this part, separating it from you, a part of me. I invite you all, if you want to really take any situation that's currently present for you, anything, going to your boss and asking for a raise, the most difficult challenge that you have, talking to someone, doing something, First, because the unconscious mind has a very good reason why it doesn't want to do that. And I'm not going to get into that. We don't have enough time. 
And in my view, having done this for 21 years with hundreds of people around the world, very successful people, it's not important. I'm not saying it's not important as not important, but in this moment, when you have to take action, the important thing is to acknowledge that it's there. Once you acknowledge it, what it is saying, what, is, what it is freaking out about, simply saying a part of me is afraid, a part of me is afraid to do this. What that does is this guy becomes small. The power returns to you. The power, who has the power here? When this guy is in charge, it's tethered to me. It takes over the house. Now, when it takes over the house, I'm freaking out. I'm afraid. When I do this, a part of me is freaking out. A part of me is afraid. I have some distance to look at my own face in the mirror. I need some distance. When I am able to see this part that's freaking out, I get my power back. From this point, nothing needs to be done. So here, I make the choice. This is where the consciousness, the power that is not for some people. Every human being has this power. We just need to separate out this fearful part, the kid that is afraid to go to school, the kid that's afraid, whatever the story this freak out part has. This human consciousness where we sit, every human being has this power. From this space, we have a choice. I choose to make this jump. This moment matters. A part of me is freaking out, but I'm going to choose. I'm choosing to jump and be free of this fear. And with that, I jumped out. <laughs> and not only I jumped out, I've done it again and again many times. And I have done this simple technique uh, with my own life, with my businesses, have taught this technique to several people. The alarm goes on in the morning. A part of me wants to switch it off. I don't want to go to gym. A part of me has always something better to do. The same three steps, this moment matters. A part of me is lazy. A part of me wants to stay and watch Netflix. A part of me wants to browse Facebook, but I am gonna choose to go and do this. This moment matters. Just a simple three-step process. Now, we will practice this in a very short, you know, coming in the space, scanning the body and finding that space within us is the trick. Acknowledging what part is freaking out is the trick. To make it more real, my invitation to everyone is if you would take a real situation in your life right now, if you have something that you need to process, something that you need to do, that you're procrastinating about, if you bring that to your awareness, we will do the short practice. Uh, I know we have a little time, so uh, let's do this together. If you have a chance, you don't have to put it in the chat. You just make bring that to your own awareness. And what you do is take a deep breath and scan your body with awareness. Let your breath be a scanner, just scanning your whole body. Open your mouth as you exhale, allows your body to relax. And as you scan your body, Pay attention to where you find this tightness, which part of your body holds, a ten holds the tension related to this thought of not wanting to do, not wanting to face the challenge, the fear that your life has presented you with. And use your breath to breathe in and out of that part. Let your in-breath go and fill that space And let your out breath empty out that space, release it through the breath.
And now, as that space becomes available to you, picture yourself sitting, being present in that space within you. This is your sacred space. This is your cockpit. This is your control seat within you. As you see yourself, as you picture yourself sitting within you in that sacred space, once again, use your breath to bring more awareness to your body. And feel this breath filling your body with awareness. This energy, this clarity, filling you from within. As you repeat this phrase, this moment matters. This moment matters. Let the power of this phrase, this awareness, this energy fill your body. A part of me is fill in the blank here with whatever situation you are dealing with, what you are delaying, procrastinating, avoiding. A part of me is. I am choosing to do it anyway. I am choosing to do it anyway. Now using this energy that fills your body at this time, using this energy, you visualize yourself taking that first step you visualize yourself, you see yourself doing what you really want to do. Make it as real as possible. In your visual image, make this as real as possible. And now as you come back, as you take a deep breath, feel your body, feel this energy, feel this energy within you. Take a deep breath and open your eyes. As you open your eyes, use your non-dominant hand. If you write with your right hand, take your left hand. 
and allow your forefinger to touch the thumb. And as you do that, close your eyes again. And recollect that empowering space within you. I am choosing to do it. This moment matters. I'm choosing to do it. And as you open your eyes, you take a deep breath and open your eyes and allow your forefinger and thumb to separate. And once again, as you close your eyes, let these two fingers touch gently. And once again, recollect and recall, remember that space where you're always connected with your core, with your source, with this clarity, intelligence, and power. This moment matters. I am choosing to do it. And once again, as you take a deep breath and feel your body, open your eyes, and once again, allow your fingers to separate. Now with your eyes open, let your forefinger and thumb touch. And see if your body is already beginning to remember, anchor into the simple action of reminding you of your source, of your inner core, where this energy, this strength is always available. So my invitation to practice this as quickly as you can um, whether it's tonight or uh, whether it's tomorrow morning <laughs> with anything that you wish to do and you've been avoiding and delaying. And the fun part is that as we take action in very short time, in just four quick times, the brain starts to form this new synaptic connection. The new neural pathway is connected in the brain. And when we take action, it starts to become hardwired. Um, that's all it takes. It's really quick, it's fast, um, but action is important. Affirmations don't do much, but affirmations when connected with action can really quickly hardwire this connection. So my invitation to practice it as quickly as you can to make it hardwired. Yes. So, and it can be any trick to touch your heart to do this. So recollecting, creating anchors for different situations, you can create different anchors to reconnect with the space fast and quick, but try it quickly. <laughs> Thank you so quickly. much. Yes. <laughs> um, I'd be happy to, to embody that. I'm sorry, Amir. Such a great way to embody you know, scanning the body, tapping to our core source and being able to distinct the story from all of who we are. Incredible, you know, the power of the mind and body. They are, they are one, they are not separate. Body is the visible, mind, mind is the hidden body. So when they both get integrated in one. So the maximum communication we have is with ourselves. And that communication has tremendous power. In any situation, the first thought we send to ourselves changes the whole dynamic, changes the whole game. Yeah, I really got a lot from that phrase. Lindley just put in the chat too. This moment matters. It's really a way of like seeing, seeing ourselves, acknowledging, yes, these emotions are valid. I hear you, I see you. And we'll like really feeling less alone just within myself. Really powerful. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Shannon. Yes. yes. I, wish, I wish you taught me this before I got my uh, skydiving license. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know we had that in common. 
It really? <laughs> I want to hear more about it when we speak. <laughs> thank you so well, much, Anil. This thank was you, Shannon. And then, hi, Lindley. Lindley. Yeah, yeah. really powerful. Um, and we are excited about next week. So next week is Thanksgiving week. And yes. we're going to be celebrating gratitude. And we have our incredible Karen um, Mills. Austin. Austin. Yes. Facilitate uh, um, her incredible practice, gratitude practice. So next Tuesday, same time, same place. And um, next week is actually open to our larger audience. So if you invite, if you want to invite friends or um we'll send out the invitations so you can let them in how to let them know how they can join us so it will actually be same time different place as in a different zoom link for next week right. so right. that it's uh you know because we're opening it up to the larger community would love for you to share with your friends and family and join us for for karen's gratitude practice next week it's really incredible and speaking of gratitude, so grateful for all of you. Should we unmute Thank and you. say goodbye? Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so much. What Thank a blessing. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so Thank you. much. Bye, Sharon. Bye, Clary. Thank you. Hi, Lindley. Thank you.